leaky faucets, that toilet that won't stop running, that annoying shower that just keeps dripping. At Kingdom Plumbing, we take care of all your plumbing needs. So yeah, I'm down here working on some plumbing. This is the pond down here in the woods. This is uh, the pump. Sucks it out of the pond and pumps it up uh, up to the house up there. We use it for like watering the plants or cleaning off something or whatever. Um, but uh, it's helpful because we don't have any regular water. So whatever we could use with this water, uh, we use it for filling up ponds or whatever. So, uh, <clears throat> oh, you like the backwards hat? Yeah, I don't really pull it off anymore, but... Uh, I was looking at myself and I was like, man, I look the same every time. I'm always wearing the same, same shirt, same hat. But I like the Jesus of Nazareth, so we'll just do this this one time. Um, not, not young enough to do it anymore. But um, <clears throat> so, yeah, let's pray before I get started. I always want to pray before I start talking and just let the Lord uh, bless the message. Just let him speak to us. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we're just glad to be able to come before you right now. The three of us right here. We just want to honor you, tell you, tell you how much we need you, Lord. How much we want your way in our life. We want you to just uh, take us with you, God. Deliver us from the evil one. Help us to take our thoughts captive, Lord, and just keep our thoughts fixed on you. Just trusting in you, thinking about good things like you said in Philippians 4. You know, think about things that are worthy of prayer. All the things that you listed is you. The things you've done, the things you, you're going to do, all of it. So that's what we want to do. You've never let us down. You're always faithful, God. You're the one we serve, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So, yeah, I'm down here working on this thing. Um, so I've been wanting to winterize my mom's house over here for a for, for a week, you know, I wasn't, wasn't looking too urgent, you know, and then uh, this morning I was like, oh, great, you know, it got really cold, I better go, this is what I'm doing today, so, um, but, so I came down here first, you know, thinking it's probably the coldest, coldest thing going on, you know, it's got the frozen pond right here, it's kind of in the shade, and, uh, and sure enough, I come down here and it's, uh, it had a drip, I think it quit dripping, but, um, I think it happened like it's underneath. Um, but I don't think it happened last night when it was really cold, but I think it happened like a few days ago because it started flipping the breaker up there. And I think it's because the water that was dripping was, was getting on the electrical. So, so anyway, but now it's kind of a pain because, uh, when you're doing PVC, you know, when you, when you fix it so many times, you have all the little couplers and there's actually no no stretch of pipe anywhere. So you have to like take off a, a huge section, you know, and then you got to get all your connector and you got to cut it just right because it all has to come together. And it just takes a lot of thinking. I never liked, I never liked doing it, but but I think I found all the pieces uh, to do it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go with the Lord's, uh, with the Lord's help here, with this, with the patience that he gives me. But, um, so yeah, but I was just thinking about, you know, I came down here originally to put a light in, you know, to put the heat lamp in, to protect it, you know, but it didn't do no good if it wasn't on, you know, and I got to thinking about, you know, if that light was on just for one day, you know, it, it would be okay, you know, it would protect it for a night, but that would be stupid because then it's just going to go bad again, you know, it's going to, it's going to freeze up again. And I got to thinking that's kind of like the, you know, when you don't put on, it's like when somebody has uh, the enemies attacking them and uh, they have this stronghold on their mind, right? And somebody like gives them some encouragement, you know, or they read the words, you know, and they have this temporary, they go to church and someone prays for them and they have this temporary relief from that, from that thought or whatever. And, um, you know, but as soon as they go away, as soon as they get back, it's right back. Because they're not changing the whole mindset. You know, and we change that mindset, you know, by by uh, by reading the words, you know. And we got to put on the armor of God just like every day. Not like, the, you know, just like with the light. We put it on every day to keep it from freezing. We put the armor of God on every day to keep us from 
from those attacks, from that depression, from that anxiety, that fear, all that stuff, you know, but we got to put it on, you know, and we put it on. Let me read the scripture real quick. A final word, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against the flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then, after the battle, you will be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of righteousness, God's righteousness. For shoes put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times. And on every occasion, stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. And pray for me too. Ask God to give me... So that's uh, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. So, um, but yeah, but putting on the armor of God isn't just... It isn't just saying, okay, I'm waking up in the morning. And I mean, it ain't just something you say. I'm putting on the armor of God. It's something you do. You know, how do we get on the armor of God? We read the word, first of all. You know, we got to know the word. That's, why, that's how we fight. That's the sword. I ain't going to go through each one of them, but we fellowship with one another. You know, we, we pray in the spirit at all times. Like, like he said, you know, in communication, seeking the kingdom of God. A big one is living righteously. That's what a lot of people don't do. You know, they do all the things, but they don't live righteously. The enemy gets in on that, you know. If you don't do that, you ain't, yeah. You don't have the armor on if you're sleeping around. Living righteously, praying, reading the word, fellowship, and putting your whole life into God. He's the armor. God is the armor. He's the protection. We get to put ourselves under his shadow. We got to walk with him, not go our own way. Deliver us from the evil one, Lord. Lead us not into temptation. We're going with you, God. So it ain't a one-time thing. You know, the word comes in and it, and it feels good. Yeah, I trust in the Lord. Yeah, everything is good. And then it goes away. We got to wash our minds with the word of God. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. That by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Romans 12, 2. So it's a renewing of the mind. It's a constant washing. It's constantly bringing the word in there. We keep it going. We stay in the word at all times. It's not just like, oh, I read the whole Bible. That's it. No. Yeah, keep the light on. There was I had a I had another thing for my little commercial, my plumbing commercial. Uh, there used to be a Motel Six uh, commercial. I think it was Motel Six where he goes, "We'll leave the light on for you." You know, the guy said that at the end, but that's what I need to do down here: leave the light on. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, I hope you, you know, I hope y'all have a good one. And uh, yeah, let's put on the armor. Let's do all those things. Let's stay strong in the Lord and pray for other believers. Like it says, you know, if you're standing, you know, I mean, it don't matter if you're standing strong anyway. We need to be praying for others, the ones that aren't doing so strong, you know, and help them out. Find out who needs what. Help them to, to get where they need to be. Walking closer to God. Discipleship. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Let's, oh, uh, yeah. Lord, yeah, just lead us on out from here, God. We, we seek your kingdom right now, Lord. What do you want us to do from here on out? Do we stay on Facebook right now? Do we go out and do something else? I don't know, Lord. Tell us. Tell us right now what to do. Your kingdom come, Lord. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Bye.